Welcome to A level chemistry. Our topic for today is electrochemistry. Now we are already familiar with electrolysis because we have done it in our IGCSEs. So we have electrolysis in this chapter and we have an extension of electrolysis which is electrode potentials. Uh, so also another very easy topic and electrolysis was also a very easy topic. But before we begin this chapter, I would suggest you to revise your AS level redox reactions chapter and your AS levels in equilibria chapter because both of them are very relevant in what we are going to do today. So you should revise those topics and then come back to this playlist. So a general view of electrochemistry and um, its relevance in the A level course. So there's at least one question in every paper in every exam so it's a very important topic however it's very easy and uh, you would be happy to get electrochemistry questions in the paper because it's mainly mathematical nothing uh, not 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 too much theoretical like other chapters so it's uh, very easy and very interesting so let's move forward now electrolysis so you know this is basic electrolysis you can see the diagram over here and uh, by definition, electrolysis is the decomposition of an ionic compound into its elements by the passage of electricity. So we know that in solution, an ionic compound exists as um, individual ions. So for example, if we take NaCl and we add it to water, we get Na plus aqueous ions or and, and CL negative, CL negative aqua science. So this is NaCl in solution and um, it can also be we can melt the NaCl solid, we can melt the solid to get Na plus liquid and CL negative liquid. So it's just that these ions are in liquid state rather than in solution which means that uh, there is no water present. Aqueous just means there is water present. So that's the only thing that aqua signifies. If we melt NaCl, then there's no water. So it splits into its, uh, its, its ions, the ions it is made of. So uh, those are present in solution. So the solution can either be, uh, so the electrolyte can either be uh, molten, which means NaCl liquid. It's basically NaCl liquid, which means NaCl solid has been melted. Or the electrolyte can be a solution, which means NaCl has been added to water. So these are the two types of electrolytes. Now, let's take molten NaCl in this example. Let's not take aqueous NaCl, let's take molten NaCl. So molten NaCl is basically uh, no water present, only Na plus and Cl negative ions in the electrolyte. So we have a cell over here, you can see positive and negative terminals. And we have uh, electrodes over here, these are called electrodes. The positive electrode is called the anode and the negative electrode is called the cathode. Now this, the cathode is negative because electrons flow, flow from the cell to this cathode and the anode is positive because and the electrons flow away from the uh, anode towards the positive terminal of the cell. So the negative terminal to the cell gives electrons to the cathode and the positive terminal of the cell receives electrons from the anode. So that's how they are different. Now. Uh, these are made of inert uh, inert substances such as graphite or platinum, something like this, because they are inert, they will not react with the electrolyte and with the metal that is being produced, metal or non-metal, whatever it is. So at the cathode, now redox reaction comes in, uh, so at the cathode and anode, we need to use our knowledge of redox reactions because uh, Na+, plus, because since the cathode has electrons, electrons that have come from the negative terminal, the positive ions, which are the cations, they can receive the electrons and simply form the metal. So the sodium ions can receive the electrons and it uh, can form sodium metal because, uh, and this is a redox reaction. Uh, this, is, this, is, uh, this is more specifically a reduction reaction because reduction is the gain of electrons. So you can see that Na plus has gained electrons and sodium has formed. So you will see deposits of sodium metal here on the cathode. Then at the anode, uh, what happens is that there are no electrons, so the sodium ions cannot go here. However, the chloride ions, 
which are negatively charged, they can deposit their electrons at the anode. They can